All right, parents, it's time to give you a quick walkthrough as to what exactly the registration process is going to look like. Now, when you go to register, hopefully you've already signed into your account. You've already updated your uh, addresses and phone numbers here, like we talked about in the previous video, which means now it is just time for you to get started with registration. On the time of registration, this camper application button will appear on your account. First thing you're going to want to do is just click that there and you'll be able to see all of um, the campers associated on your account. Now, let's say I'm going to sign up my Jane Kaleva first. You can see that all this information is automatically populating. I can fill in her school and then I hit begin application. Now, once I've begun the application, I will only see programs that Jane is eligible for because of her age. So I can see here that she's eligible for all these farm programs. And if I want her to come for farm week three, I would it automatically selects the Explorers program. I can see the price and everything here. And if I do want to send her to Virginia as well, I can select a Virginia week two program and select Explorers there. Now, if I continue on, it is automatically going to populate all of that information we filled out ahead of time. I can just hit continue. And if I want to, I can even have the option to add a lunch during week three. You'll notice that the lunch option is only available during week three because of her program location. So our lunches are only available at the farm and at Riley's, not at Virginia, which is why it's only showing that option there. And you don't have to pick it. It's up to you, but that is an option you select there. I hit continue. This is where you can update your campers info, but you don't have to do that right away. And any friend requests can go right here. You'll fill in your camper's height here. So I'm just gonna say she's 5'2", and the camper weight here for 100. This is information that we need for some of our programming, but we collect it from everyone. And then this is where you can see all of that information about what exactly uh, you'll be paying right here. Once you hit continue, You'll be able to see the waiver and hit sign, type in your name, and click submit. Now once you submit, what's going to happen is it's automatically going to process your card. And then you can hit this new begin new application button and immediately what's going to happen is you are going to be redirected back into your account where you can add another camper. So if I've decided, hey, I need to add another child, this one will be named Joe at Kaleva. And I just want to show you guys all of the different things that might populate. And since they're born in 2015, you'll see that the options are just a little bit different for Joe. Oop, I forgot a couple of things, but it highlights them nice and well for you. And once you're in here, you'll see that a couple other programs might populate. Oh, well, this one actually is still Explorers. So let's go back and make our camper just a little bit older so you can see some of the other options that will start to appear. Oh, look at that. We now have our Riley's programs that we are eligible for because of our age. And you can see that I will select any of those and I'll just continue back on through that process. Now, we're not going to go ahead and check out again, but what you will see is if we go back to our account, and we've completed the process. I know that I'm registered for. I can see this financial management page where it tells me what exactly I've paid, what my balance is. But if I head on back to that forms and documents, is this is really, really important. This is what we want to do right after we complete the registration process, is you want to navigate to this day travel form. What this is going to do is allow you to pick your bus stops. This is a separate process that happens after you select your camps. So if I choose week two, Virginia, I'm deciding I want to do the planetarium it's automatically going to tell me I'll be doing the same bus in the morning. During the farm week, I'd like to go to Glen Echo. I select that, and then I select the same bus stop as AM. I hit submit, and then it says that I've received it. Now, this is all great. If I've decided that I want to add lunches, I can do that right here. But most importantly, we also need to do our health history form. Now, this form is much more comprehensive than any other form that you may have gotten at Kaleva previously, but we are so excited to have all of this great health information from you all, so please complete this as well. But those are the two major things that you need to do immediately after the registration process is navigate to forms and documents, and we need to complete both the day travel form as well as the health history. And then at any point, you can add lunches, add a gear bag right over here in the additional options.